Hello my dear brothers and sisters, welcome back to the channel. My name is Antoinette and this is Artist Freestyle. I know I haven't posted in a while and I'm sorry. Um, I just had this dream and I was trying to figure out how I can share it with you all. And um, before I go into the warning message for the left behind, I want to give you, present to you the hope that we all share as Christians, as brothers and sisters in the Christ Jesus, um, that he is coming to get us that the rapture is at hand. Jesus is coming. Look around. Look around at the things that are happening in the world. We know that the time is near. And we see more and more fulfilled prophecies each and every day. So I want to read from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16 to 17. And it says, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. My friends, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 9 to 11 says, For God chose to save us through our Lord Jesus Christ, nor to pour out his anger on us. Christ died for us so that whether we are dead or alive, when he returns, we can live with him forever. So encourage each other and build each other up just as you are already doing. So I want to encourage you today that if you're going through a lot of trouble, don't worry, my friend, Jesus is coming soon. Just hang in there. Keep following him. Keep carrying your cross and keep living every day, focusing and looking at Jesus and following everything that he says. Now, before I go into my dream, I want to first uh, explain the dream to you. I mean, just tell you my dream and then I'm going to read out scriptures that match the scenes that I saw in my dream okay so now this is a message to the left behind the people who miss the rapture okay guys so this was my dream I saw uh, different scenes in the dream so the first scene was I saw like huge camps uh, I don't know if you could call them camps, but they were like huge sections on the land and people were brought in in batches, okay? So they were all dressed up alike. It was like complete order, like enforced rules and order. And people were brought in in batches, like huge batches, like thousands and thousands. And um, when they went into this, like these tents or camps, uh, there were like, leaders over there who were speaking to them about this new system that they were introducing and um, they were speaking in a way to deceive like they were saying it like it's so good it's so good but it isn't but they were deceiving all these people and all these people you know they were most of them were falling for it and some of them were not they were trying to introduce the mark of the beast and um, some people were for it and some were not for it. So the ones who were for it moved to the next level and the ones who were not for it were left in the camps and the, those leaders came out, shut the doors and the people who did not accept it were killed. So the next scene I saw was I was standing beside the waters and there were a lot of waters surrounding these camps and the waters were filthy and it was like there was no rest in the waters and they were really high and like the sea level was really high and um, I suddenly looked right and I saw in a distance I saw the temple and I saw a huge image raised up in the temple and a lot of people were there and I saw smoke going up from the temple so this is one thing that I saw and again the scene changed and I suddenly turned and I looked around and at the back I saw all the waters that were surrounding the camp turned into blood I put my hand in the in the waters and I saw it was blood it was turned into blood and I can still almost feel it on my hands even when I think about it it was so real then the scene changed again and I was in a different camp and I saw everybody running real fast and all these people were picking up 
clothes like they were picking up garments and the way they were picking up the garments they were picking up so many and like holding it against themselves they and uh, I was wondering why they're picking up garments they're picking up the garments the clothes like as if it was the only thing it was like the last thing that could save them and the dream ended and as always I want to back it up with Bible verses because that is so important and we see that these are all prophecies in the Bible that is going to happen Revelations chapter 13 verse 15 to 17 says and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed and he caused it all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand and on their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell save he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name so we see in the dream that people were deceived into taking the mark of the beast and we also see the temple with the image in the temple and then we see people getting killed now we see in revelations 14 9 to 11 and the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand the same shall drink the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever. And they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast and his image and whosoever received the mark of his name. We see clearly that this is a warning. If you are left behind, do not receive the mark. Do not worship the beast, right? Revelation 16, four to six says, and the third angel poured out his vial upon the rivers and the fountains of waters, and they became blood. And I heard the angel of the waters say, Thou art righteous, O Lord, which art and was and shall be, because thou hast judged us thus. For they have shed the blood of saints and prophets, and thou hast given them blood to drink, for they are worthy. My friends, we see the waters turning into blood in the dream. This was the other scene. Now I want to read to you. A verse from Revelation 16, 15, which is a red letter verse, which means that Jesus himself has spoken it. And it says, Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. This was why people were picking up the garments, because that was the last hope is to put on the righteousness of Christ. Just think about this, my friends. How merciful can the Lord be? How merciful is He? Wow. This is the message, my friends. If you are left behind, do not take the mark. Do not worship the beast. Put on the garments, the righteousness of Christ Jesus, and keep believing in Him. But let me tell you, it's not late. If you haven't received Jesus in your heart, now is the time. Today is the day of salvation. Let me tell you about this Jesus. God so loved the world that he gave his only son to die for you on the cross. And whosoever believeth in him will not perish, will have eternal life. Jesus died for our sins. Jesus paid the heavy price for our sins. Sin separated us from God and the wages of sin is death and Jesus paid the heavy price death and he overcame death by being resurrected on the third day. And if you believe in this Jesus, he can wash away all your sins. Just confess. Jesus says, if you repent and confess your sins, he's faithful to forgive you for every single sin. 
Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. Repent, my friends. Repent. Time's up. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man can come to the Father but by me. Jesus is coming in the rapture to take his church. And that day is coming so soon. The day is almost upon us. It can happen any time. Live a holy life for the Lord Jesus Christ. Follow him. Meditate on his word. Salvation is free. Salvation is free, my friends. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved.